And so we're going to be in practice mode here on war on the test server, which is how I have access to him. Now, I do like Star Lord Kit. I feel like the Ravagers, a placeholder team, and I'm also terrified of the idea that if I don't upgrade this team, they're going to penalize me later. Like, what if they make a legendary requirement for something where it uses Star Lord T'Challa and the Ravagers and they have to be a gear tier 14 or something garbagey like that? But based on what we know today, I'm not that excited about upgrading uh, this team other than other than uh, Star Lord. I like Star Lord. Okay, now. Uh, his abilities here really won't do anything, so I'm just going to do a basic attack uh, because his ultimate really requires to have other positive effects. Yondu steals positive effects. Uh, Knife Guy steals a lot of positive effects also. And uh, Ravager Bruiser, that is. See, look, look, look here we're going to get a bunch of positive effects. Look at that. Oh, the positive effects. This guy right here also steals a bunch. Copy three positive effects. Let's go. Let's take him. And then we get to do, this is an amazing, I actually like Stitcher right here. Stitcher right here does like, kind of like health steal. So check it out. And then he heals up. Look at that. Boom. I love it. I love it. And then we can do it again because we summoned some. And then uh, this, this whole thing about removing turn meter and gaining turn meter. Not terrible. I like it a lot. All right. We apply slow, get speed up. I love it. All right, now we're going to copy everything and we're going to get copy all positive effects, excluding Skavard, Taunt, and Regeneration from adjacent allies. And we're going to do that. Let's do it. Get out of here. Oh, my God. It feels like we're just like getting through this. Like, no problem. And look at this right here. Yep. 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 Okay. We're going to focus down on Thanos. All right. Here we go. I was trying to get through Thanos before that. I guess I didn't get there quick enough. Thanos almost wiped us. Uh, I've done this match. But let's do this on Ebony Ma. I've done this match before where I've actually was able to put the blind and, and stop the ability energy on Thanos before he could do that. Uh, so that's kind of a little bit like a little bit. It, it doesn't seem as clear as a, a win. When I did that other one, it definitely felt like like a bigger W when I did it the other way. All right, now a brief word from our sponsor. Come closer, come closer to the screen. Let me tell you a little secret. So you get about a hidden gem, a free hidden gem, something that costs you nothing, but makes your entire life millions of times better. Also happens to be the greatest mobile game of all time, Raid Shadow Legends. The newest boss just released in Raid is the biggest and craziest yet. This thing is a Hydra with multiple different heads, each one a complete boss battle on its own. Sounds crazy. The head of Blight is all about poison. It poisons you, leeches you, and protects itself with the poison cloud but makes it super hard to hit. Fortunately, you can kill it with fire. HP burn deals extra damage to his head and it also helps counter the poison cloud. Two, the head of torment is terrifying, constantly applying true fear on your guys. The only way to stop it is by hiding your champions with the veil buffs. Three, the head of mischief loves your buffs and wants them all for himself. It targets the champion with the most buffs, then steals them and spreads those stolen buffs. It's a nightmare! The head of wrath is a super angry damage dealer, weakens and provokes your team. And when you've hit it 15 times, it gets a new buff called Vendance, tripling its attack power. It can wipe you out in one go. The Head of Decay is about tearing you down and building up its allies. It makes your team's healing actually lower their HP. So healing isn't always a good thing. Also can put out a life barrier on the other heads. If you can't break it fast, it'll be fully healed. There's also the Head of Suffering is the Hydra's main tank head. It brings a horrible new dev buff called Pain Link, which causes your champions to take some damage whenever you attack the Head of Suffering. It shares the suffering and it's the worst! What I like the most about this game is that they're constantly updating it with amazing PvE content. Oh, and if the biggest, baddest boss in the entirety of mobile games isn't enough for you, there's more. Raid's also giving away a super limited edition champion to every new player in the game. It's eSports legend and Navi superstar, Simple. 
Between now and January 28, 2022, Simple's limited edition champ is available for free to both new and old players in Raid. All you have to do is log in for seven days between now and January 28th, and he's yours. There's seriously never been a better time to get started. Hit the link in the description or scan my QR code and you'll get an epic champion Tayrel, 200,000 silver, one energy refill, one EXP boost, and one ancient charm. All this treasure will be waiting for you right Right here, but it's only available if you log in in the next 30 days and for new players. Once you're in, you can find me in game under the name Mobile Gamer. If you're fast, you can join my clan, and it's that easy. Just click the link in the description, and I'll see you in game. Just for fun, we'll go up again to the the premier team, and I I don't even know if we'll be able to take a turn. To be honest with you, uh, they just go and go and go and go, and it's kind of bonkers. How, how quickly this Heroes for Hire team now. This is a problem, Heroes for Hire. And I try only to, to upgrade characters and uh, work on teams and characters that either solve a problem or create a problem for somebody else. And Heroes for Hire is a real problem. And I would be beyond ecstatic thrilled about Ravagers and Star-Lord T'Challa if they could wipe them, right? All right? Look at this. We get to take a turn. Hey, I didn't even think I was going to be able to take a turn. We get to take a turn. All right. Well, let's see how long this lasts. We're behind, stuck behind a Luke Cage taunt. Uh, I mean, they lasted a little longer than I thought. For It seems to me that I I, I remember them just, like, getting wiped. Um, yeah, look at this. <laughs> Heroes for Hire or something else. All right, so what about Weapon X, though? Because, you know, I, I typically don't see Weapon X on defense, but I heard of an alliance actually putting uh, Heroes for Hire and then also Infinity Watch and Weapon X just to mess with their opponent. But typically, I, nobody puts Weapon X on defense because they're using Weapon X on offense, you know, as a, hard, as a counter to uh, Heroes for Hire. But... I've heard of someone doing it before, so let's let's take a look and see if this even makes a difference to see if we make a dent into them. Uh, if we can get through Omega Red quickly, I, I think that's that's a thing right there. Let's see if Star Lord goes quick enough. No, see they well at least my Star Lord didn't get ability blocked. Wow. Okay then. I guess uh, they're 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 not they're not having it. They're not having it. Okay. Wow. Um, let's go against uh, Infinity Watch uh, again. Infinity Watch. I typically don't see on defense, but uh, some people do place them on defense. I try to keep my Infinity Watch for offense for some really big annoying New Warriors teams. So we're gonna do this now. Star-Lord's ability is interesting because it can go through evasion, but the blind has to land and they start off with um, immunity. So I, I can't use that ability unless the blind will land. So like I, right now, who doesn't have it? Um, Gamora and Nebula don't have immunity. Well, let's, let's do this here and maybe we'll stop the counterattacks from Gamora, uh, from Nebula. All right, so we stole the two energy. Very cool. All right. It would have been nicer if I could have done that to Adam Warlock, of course, right? Uh, Adam Warlock just stopped that ability block. Okay, let's remove some turn meter here. We got dodges everywhere. Wow. All right, let's bring out some nerds. Oh, look at those nerds everywhere. All I see is nerds. All right. Uh, I guess we're going to go after... Let's just go after Phyla. All right. He's disrupted. This is kind of nice right here. I, I do like his... Uh, okay, knock down some turn meter on Gamora. All right. Get, apply slow and get speed up. I like that. Oh, look at this. Copy all those effects. Look at that. Extend them all. All right. Go, 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 go. One got through the death. The first one knocked it down. The second one got through the death proof. 
first one knocked down the death proof and the second one went killed him killed her fantastic all right let's see i feel like we can go after moon dragon here this would be very imp i'd be completely impressed if we can um hang out here mom that'll steal everything right there all right we copy that they're so punishing though all right all right, that that clears a bunch of things. Oh boy, if this this could be this this I we're 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 hanging on here. The problem that I think that this that this presents though is even if I win, is that almost everybody's fully entrenched on Infinity Watch, and so like people that okay, who do we want to do this to? I feel like Adam is Adam Warlock gonna do any crazy things right now? What's I, I don't know where Adam Warlock is. Let's do this to Adam Warlock then. Probably should have used that on Gamora. I have a feeling that Gamora needed that more, but well, we'll see here. I think we can get through them. I think we can get through them. Uh, this is great. All right, extend all the positive effects. Oh, is Gamora there still? I, I can't tell. Do we have a glitched out Gamora stand, hanging out beside this? All right. Yeah, Gamora is still there. All right. Hey. This is why we got invisible Gamora, but... Wow, they, they if they okay, so they can counter Infinity Watch. Not terrible. And then this will slow this down a little bit more. That seems very good. Yeah, I like that. If you can get that to land. All right, let's just do basic attack here to finish that match. Wow, we actually got something done. They counter Infinity Watch. Now, the problem with that is this. Uh, everybody's entrenched on Infinity Watch, right? Infinity Watch, everybody has like super thick Infinity Watch teams. So how easy is it to get everybody to to, to match up your Infinity Watch, right? That is going to be the problem. Is like, because everybody ran Infinity Watch in Arena and like has like 900,000. Well, not everybody, but you know, you know what I'm trying to say is like my highest team power is Infinity Watch. And so we're punching across. Can they punch up? I don't know. It's still pretty cool, though. Let's go up against new warriors. Hey, I consider that a W right there for... for um, They're not as bad as I thought. If they can take on Infinity Watch, right? All right, let's go against new warriors. This is kind of a... I got a big shout out to Boyan for putting these teams up. Uh, but being able to punch across on Infinity Watch means they're not slackers. They're not slackers. Okay, here we go. Uh oh, this doesn't doesn't look good. Now, um, I think we want to put these. We we we, can, we want Death Pool to be blinded here. Nope, that didn't land. Hmm. I don't think it's gonna matter much. This is not gonna be this is not gonna be a good match because of um even if I was able to spawn the minions from Yandu, I think the the, the minions would be just food for Death Pool. So this is not gonna be a good matchup here. Yeah, she's just cleaning up. Alright, that's not a good matchup there. Let's go up against another one. But Infinity Watch, yeah. Star Lord and Ravagers actually can take out Infinity Watch. Wow, well, who would have thought? I wouldn't have uh, thought. And then uh, let's go to let's go do another matchup against um, do well. Oh God, <laughs> we're gonna do two more matches, and then we're gonna call it. Uh, and that way, you can see how this goes. Two more matches. I, I think the chances are slim enough. Okay, now if I can if I can put the blind on Doom, huh? Actually, I think there is some 
There's enough there's enough things here to counter Doom, but the problem is the Eternals. Eternals, yeah, look at this. Eternals are gonna pop off right here. How quickly is this gonna be over? Yeah. Oh, hey, we survived it. For a second. <laughs> Cersei and Icarus are the real characters, man. Like, if they had like like if they have more Cersei and Icarus offers. I would tell people to buy them because they're better than this entire patch. They really are. And then lastly, um, I, I was able to beat this team in Alliance War, in, in a real Alliance War, um, the other night versus uh, Legion. If you got to take out Magic first, and I but I used Black Order. Black Order, of course, Ebony Ma has a soft counter to not only Phoenix, but Storm. And so... Uh, it, it worked out okay. So we're going to try to focus on magic. Uh, check this out. I think this is going to be great. Look at this. If we can get the blind on her. Oh, yeah. There, this is, That's going to fall apart. So he stole the ability energy. That's great. Now, how many of us got stunned? Like three of us. That's kind of unfortunate. Let's bring out some nerds. All right. We're going to just focus down on... Now magic did get her 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 her, her turn meter rewound, but there's no reason to this really gonna throw off the whole team. Uh, let's hit right here because this reduces turn meter. I like that. All right, let's steal some stuff. All right, I think we're gonna get through this. Uh, let's hit all three again. Oh no, we have to go over there. All right, at least knockdowns. All right, here comes Dark Phoenix. We got to get through magic. All right, we got to do that. I have no choice. We're in the taunt. Need to get over to magic before she does her things. Yeah, that's bad. All right, we're going to probably lose this one. Um... At a minimum, we had there. We got through her. Hey, the reason we got to get through her is because we don't want to have to deal with Dark Phoenix twice. Now we can focus our energy on. Nope, not gonna happen. I don't know if I could have played that differently, but I feel like there's a lot of up. There's a lot of things, a lot of tricks in there. Uh, let's try that match one more time, and this time I'm going to rewind Phoenix, and then I will focus on Magic, but I'll let Magic uh, boost the team. I feel like that, well, I want to try that match one more time, uh, but this time on the opening salvo, instead of uh, uh, doing the the the, 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 the the ability energy steal on, or I like to call it ability block, but it's ability energy steal which is better than ability block. Instead of doing it on magic, we're going to do it on Phoenix and see if that keeps her kind of stalled. Uh, and then just try to burst down magic after that. Let's see here. Let's see if this goes. All right, cool. So she's just going to hang out there now. Oh, yuck. We got taunts. All right, let's see if we can... Um, you know what? We're going to just do a basic attack here. We're going to try to, like, cheese this a little bit. All right. I think there's some RNG involved in this matchup always, depending on how many people uh, Storm Storm will stun. So there's always just going to be some RNG on there. All right. So we're dealing with... Uh, hang in there. All right. What's, uh, this is great. Ah, uh, boy, I really just want a basic attack there. All right, cool. All right, what's uh, AoE? Oh, that's not what I wanted, but it is what it is. All right, now we got to burst down Phoenix. This Star-Lord has been stunned this whole match, it feels like. Uh, we got to kind of keep the turn meter low on them.
Yeah, okay, we're gonna get through them. Ouch! Wow. All right, well... Uh, I did have luck playing against that team with Black Order and Black Order bursting down magic and a slight punch up. Not a huge punch up, but that's how it... Let me know what you think in the comments section. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep on gaming. I can feel it rising I can feel the wind on the back of my